Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's nine o'clock. It's time for a review show special. This is where I take uh, a, a detailed look at a particular company, a particular creator, a particular producer, and I kind of break down a whole bunch of stuff. And today I'm doing another Penguin Magic review show special. Now, Penguin are bringing out so much magic at such a pace. Uh, it's kind of almost hard for me to keep up. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do review show specials on some of their stuff. And uh, naturally, people always get excited when there's a penguin trick coming out because uh, a lot of their stuff hits and hits hard. It's very rare to see a bad penguin trick. That's why I like working with them. And today I'm going to be looking at three new tricks from Penguin Magic. In fact, I'm going to give you a big tip on one of the tricks from Penguin Magic that I think will... Uh, really kind of changed the game for anyone who's got it. But uh, without further ado, we're going to get straight into it and we're going to start off with Matt Cluley's man crush himself, the one and only Simon Lipkin. Okay, so we're going to start off with Simon Lipkin and Simon Lipkin has bought out his first Penguin release. It's called Simon Says. And Simon Says is a uh, specially produced deck of cards. Now, anybody who knows me knows I'm going to get very excited about this. This is a specially produced deck of cards. I love tricks where you take a card trick or you take something that involves a deck of cards normally and you, you put it into something else. Uh, I did that with Evoke. I did that with the Infinity deck. I did that with Cube 52. Um, I love that thinking because it kind of makes a trick more interesting. It makes it more personal. And what Simon Lipkin has done is he has created a game, a legitimate game, that's all based around celebrities. Now, I'm not going to say anything else. There's a bunch of routines on the project. There's a lot of live performances. As you would expect, Simon is an incredible performer. He's one of the best performers in the world, uh, in my opinion. And um, he... Uh, he performs everything brilliantly, and it's a bunch of different routines. I'm going to uh, show you the main routine now. So I'm going to perform the main routine for you um, so you can see exactly kind of what it is and how it works in terms of, you know, the pacing and so on and so forth. Uh, when you've had a look at the performance, we're going to come back into the studio and we're going to talk through um, the fame game. By Simon Lipkin. Yes. Have you ever heard of the Fame Name game before? Fame no. Name game. It's basically one of those travel games. You know, like you play Uno when you're oh, out no. and about. Yeah. This is like a celebrity-based game. It's a little bit like charades. Uh, basically, what you have, let me show you. You've got uh, cards, and each one of the cards has a different celebrity on it. So you've got Stevie Wonder here. Uh, you've got Ryan Reynolds. You've got David Beck. Tons and tons of different names, right? You've got loads and loads of different names. And then the idea is... You would have to take one of these cards and you would have to try and get somebody else to work out in 20 seconds the celebrity that you're reading off the card. So in this case, you'd have to get Ryland or Michael to, to guess that you were thinking of Will Smith. Yep. Now, there's mm. certain words that are banned. So, for example, you can't say Jada. You can't say Men in Black. You can't say Oscars. You can't say Getting Jiggy With It. All of those would probably get you to know that that's, uh, so that's Will Smith. You can't say any of those words. If you do, you're disqualified. Um, you've got 20 seconds. If you get it right, you get three points. And you keep playing it again and again and again. Here's the thing. There's an emergency word. In this case, it's Fresh Prince, which I think would help anybody get Will Smith. If it comes to five seconds and they haven't got it yet, you can use the emergency word. And that will get you one point if they get it based off the emergency word. Okay. Does that make sense? Sure. And it's a really fun game to play. Now, your celebrity knowledge is not great, is it, Ryan? No, but I can try. Do you want to try it with Ryland, or do you want to try it with... Uh, do, do you want to try it? Sure. Okay, this could go very badly. So here's what I want you to do. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to cut, you're going to look at the celebrity. Yeah. And then when you cut and you've looked at the celebrity, I just want you to put it back. Okay. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Um, so... Well, actually, yeah, you won't be able to put it back because you need to know what the bound words are. I'm just thinking. So instead, just just take it and 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 hold the packet and look at it. That's the celebrity. You can cut anywhere you want to. Go for it. You got it. Yep. Okay. So, are you ready? Yep. Ryland, you got 20 seconds. Okay. Your time starts now. Um, you used to be married to Angelina Jolie. Who's that? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> uh, World War Z. Fury? Hang on, can I just ask, did you give a reference to an 18 zombie movie <laughs> to an 11 year old? You took it to some I rated films. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> 15, but not 18. <laughs> Carry on. Uh, oh crap, what else has he been in? You got, you got 10 seconds left. Uh, <laughs> this is 
not. <laughs> Tyler Durden. Is that the name? <laughs> yes, Ryan, I just gave you the answer. No, that wasn't the name. Three, you two, one. Yeah, I just said it. Oh. It was Brad Pitt. Yeah, I, I could have got that. Would you have got that? Yeah, I would have got Brad Pitt. Pitt. Yeah, Brad Pitt. Oh. I got Brad Pitt straight away off the Angelina Jolie reference, to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, you're, you're not very good at celebrities, no. are you, Evan? No. <laughs> so we learned something. Never play the fame game with Ryland, so that's, uh, that's useful to know. Now you're going to play with me. Oh, God. Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm quite good at this. Okay. And we're going to play it a couple of times. So do you want to cut the cards and complete the cut like that? So we're just cutting into, a, uh, so we're in, every card is in a random position. Very good. And then what I want you to do, you're going to cut somewhere and you're going to play the game with me. So okay. just like you did with Ryan, cut somewhere. Yep. You got it? Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Go. Oh God, I don't even know who this is. Uh... You don't know who it is? <laughs> okay. Well, that's not even going to help at all, is it? <laughs> 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 I'm just playing this with the wrong okay. viewer. This is a good one. Go on. Um, it took him years to win. Yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio. What? I told you, I'm really good at it. <laughs> you know? I'm just really good at it. I'm re really good at it. Like, I'm really, really good. It was Leonardo, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know it was. I, I can just tell immediately. But I tell you what, we'll do... We'll, Leonardo da Vinci. No, not da Vinci, not different da Vinci. guy. We'll do it again, okay? This time, I just want you to think who the celebrity is. Okay. Just think. What if they're not in that book? Huh? What if they're not in the book? Cut first, obviously. <laughs> Okay, look at it. Are you, are you, is it somebody you know? I uh, definitely know this person. Okay, think. Think. Okay, imagine that you're walking into a room. That, imagine a film that they're in. I've always seen a superhero movie, is that right? That is right. You're thinking superheroes. I am. You're thinking Marvel. I am. You're not thinking the MCU, though. Oh, you are, but only recently. Ooh, I, I associate this character to a colour. Yellow. You're thinking yellow, aren't you? I am. You jack me. <laughs> you jack me. I'm just great at this. I'm absolutely fantastic. I, I never lose at this game. In fact, I know who you're going to think of before you even think of it. Let me give you an example. Cut the cards and just complete the cut. Do you want to cut them again or are you happy? I'm happy. Okay. Can I borrow your phone? Yeah? Uh, luckily, I know Ryland's code. There we go. What a surprise. He's on YouTube. Where's... Uh, Safari, there we go. I was already on Safari. Yeah, I didn't realise. I thought you had the YouTube app. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I just got, when we don't let me have it, so I just got Safari instead of YouTube. It's then it lets me it's like your own little hat. <laughs> yeah, it just lets you go on YouTube. <laughs> you didn't, didn't, didn't realise <laughs> watches these videos. She doesn't. No, she doesn't. She just, she just, sees, she just sees Safari. Oh my gosh. She just cool. sees Safari. So, um... What a little hack. You've got to get your Mr Beast fixed somehow, haven't you? I'm, I'm watching. Um, I'm watching Good Dad. Okay. I'm watching like K9 and TV TV. I've, I've done a search on there. Okay. Um, can you do me a favour? Can you can you just cut for me? Um, cut some cut, and we'll we'll mark that position. Now, okay. <clears throat> here's what I want you to think of for a second. The last couple of times I've been able to work out the exact celebrity that you were merely thinking of, just by breaking into your mind. But before you cut the cards that time, I did a search on Ryland's phone. Right. I did an image search mm -hmm. for one image and one image only. You're not going to believe this. For the first time, tell everyone who you cut to. Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. And if you just give me your phone, I you unlock it. it. Unlock it. Oh, oh no, unlock Idiot. it. And look at who I do the search. Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Who's that? <laughs> okay, so let me tell you what I love about this deck of cards. So first of all, one thing I love about it is they are really well made. I don't know if it's USPCC or something, but they handle brilliantly. They handle absolutely brilliantly. Now, uh, in terms of uh, the main routine that you just saw, I love the fact that this is an actual game. You know, the, the routine that you just saw, it's kind of like a three or a four phase routine. You start off with two people playing each other, but then when they've played each other, then the next step is you kind of play the game with them a couple of times and you get it right and it kind of really kind of freaks them out. And then you predict what they're going to do ahead of time. I mean, it's amazing, really, when you think about it. 
Um, and I love the fact that it looks, you know, I saw somebody on the cafe go, oh, it'd be much better if there were pictures of celebrities. And I disagree. I don't think that'd be much better. I much prefer the fact that this is an actual game that you can play. It's a little bit like charades, but with celebrities. In fact, when I was doing this, Jack and Michael actually said to me, I'd have that. I'd buy that as an actual game to play with people because it's a really fun game to play. And it really is. Um, the fact that it's a magic trick is just wonderful. You can literally have this around your house and do it as a game and cheat because obviously with the systems that are built into it. So the first thing I love about this is the premise behind the deck. I think the premise is brilliant. The second thing that I like is the marking system. It is so clever. It's basically a three-way marking system. So the, 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 uh, what it's going to tell you is it's going to tell you the name of the celebrity on the card you're looking at. It's going to tell you the name of the celebrity on the next card and on the previous card. Now, the marking system is kind of interesting how, how uh, Simon's done this. In order to... Let's... <coughs> excuse me. Cut to a random place. The marking system to get the next card and the previous card is totally uh, intuitive. You'll never know how the marking system works. You can look at these forever and you're not going to be able to notice. But as long as these cards are in stack, you're going to be able um, to immediately um, be able to tell you what the cards are. So, for example, uh, if I just cut the cards like this, I can tell you that Billie Eilish is at the bottom. There you go. Billie Eilish is at the bottom. And I can tell you David Bowie is the one next so you can see david bowie so that is a within seconds of simon explaining how that works emily blunt it's that quick so you can literally hold the cards in a walk around position um simon is going to teach you a couple of really simple full shuffles you know but you can literally just look away and say look cut anywhere you want to look at the card and i can tell you straight away it's charlie chaplin boom charlie chaplin i get it before they've even got it right it's that quick um no skill, no memory work, no nothing. In order to get the mark on the actual card, there is a small amount of memory work because you're not getting all the information. You're getting part of the information. You're getting basically the first three letters of their first name and the first three letters of their, um, of their surname. Now, I haven't actually learnt this and I don't think I will. Um, oh, I should have known that Scott Johansson. I've not learned this because in order to learn the mark on the actual card, what you'd have to do is you'd have to go through each individual card, just get yourself accustomed to what the names are, and then just kind of have a look at the backs for a few seconds and go, okay, right, okay, I can see that. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Right. So you you do that. I'd, I'd reckon maybe half an hour. Uh, of just playing with these cards and you'd probably get the majority of them straight, you know, straight away. I think with an hour, you'd have no problem. Um, and maybe I'll do that. But honestly, I think the other two marks are so easy. I'll probably just use that because I love the fact that they can just cut Muhammad Ali. Boom, done. I don't need to think about it. I, I can just get there straight away. I understand why he's not right. I understand why the card that you're actually getting the mark on is not marked the same way as the other two because you want it to be hidden. You don't want there to be any possibility that you can look at the back and it'll tell you what the front of the card is. People could look at these cards forever and they're not going to be able to see any marks. They're not going to realise that a marking system is built into it. I totally get that. Um, the reason that Simon's built that into it the way it has makes total sense. And also the reason he's done it is so that if he accidentally drops the deck or somebody shuffles the cards, he's still going to be able to get a peek because he can literally just say, touch one. You want that one there? Are you sure you want that one there? You can change your mind. No, I want that one there. And and using the system, which I haven't learned, he'd be able to tell you that was Ryan Reynolds. Um, so, um, so there's that. Um, if you want to do it straight away, you can do it the way I just did it in the performance. Not a problem. Uh, one question that comes up with stacked decks a lot is if you drop the deck, what's going to happen? It's not a problem because on the box, you've got uh, the back of the box says, how well do you know these celebrities? And then there's a list of celebrities. That is the stack order. Um, so if you ever drop them, that's how you get them back into stack. Um, but in essence, this is a very cool trick. Now, there's a whole bunch of other stuff on the tutorial. The live performances are exceptional. 
Um, there is multiple other routines. I could spend forever talking about the routines, but I do want to spend a few seconds talking about uh, a system that Simon's got or a routine that Simon's got that involves the one ahead uh, principle. Now, anybody who knows my work knows I love the one ahead principle in mentalism. And he's got a very cool way of doing something with this deck uh, that was inspired by a Banachek principle. And he teaches the whole thing so you can understand it. And I'd never seen this Banachek principle before. And I think it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to show you a performance of that as well. So this is a performance of the uh, 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 one of the other routines of the project. Just so you can see you've got a lot of variety there. This one is incredible. If you've got a small group of people, this is nuts. I'm going to show you something pretty cool using a pen using three cards that are blank on both sides and using this pack of cards which is not a pack of cards it's actually called the fame name game and it is a little bit like charades but with celebrities it's got all different celebrities on them and basically if you play the game you're trying to get the other person to guess what celebrity you're thinking of but the certain words that you are allowed to use and the certain words that you're not allowed to use now we're not going to um play that game right now because I'm going to try and do something. Ryan, can you do me a favour? Can you cut the cards and complete the cut for me, please? Would that be okay? Perfect stuff. So we're going to try and do this three times. And uh, I'm going to do it first of all with you, Jack. Okay. Okay. So can you do me a favour? Um, can you just write your name there on that card for me? So if you write your name there on that card, that'd be brilliant. Okay, yeah. <sighs> Excellent. And what I'm going to do, Jack, is I am going to write on here a prediction of what I think you're going to do. Mm -hmm. And I want you to remember, guys, that I wrote this prediction on your card before we did, even did anything, okay? I've made my prediction. What we'll do is we'll put your card down there. Now, um, Jack, what I want you to do is you're going to cut about a third of the cards and just put them in front of you. Excellent stuff. Now, um, Ryland... I'm going to make a prediction for you as well. So same thing. Can you uh, just write Ryland on that card for me? That would be good. Good stuff. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I am going to make a prediction here of what I think is going to happen. And I want you again to remember, is this fair, Michael? I want you to remember that I did that before we even began, right? Now, the last time we're going to do this is with Michael. Now, obviously, Michael's got the... Oh, before I do, can you just cut about a third of the cards as well? Cut those cards in about half. So about half the cards? Yeah, about half the cards. There you go. And uh, last time, can you write Michael on there? Because obviously, uh, Michael's behind the camera, so you can write Michael for him. stuff and uh, I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to write on here don't know if I'm right but I'll go with this tensions building excellent can you recap for me so I want you to remember there we go that before I did anything every single time I um, you, I made a prediction on the card that you signed before you cut. Now, can you look at your celebrity? Yep. Very good. Can you look at your uh, celebrity? Um, and, and, oh, and I, know. I think I know that one. Can you look at your celebrity? Yeah. You got it? Um, Jack, I made this prediction about you. Ronald, I made this prediction about you. Michael, I made this prediction about you. So let's have a look and see how we did. <coughs> um, uh, we've got Julia Roberts, right? Yep. And Jack... I wrote down on your card right at the very beginning, hey. Julia Roberts. Ryland, you had Charlie Chaplin. And I wrote from the very beginning on your card, Charlie Chaplin. And uh, Michael, you had Freddie Mercury. 
and I wrote Freddie Mercury. And I was able to predict everything that you guys would do. How good is that? Isn't that great? Like, I absolutely love that. You, you can use business cards. You can use double blank cards like I did. You can use billets, whatever you want to use. Uh, the bottom line is, this is awesome. This is the sort of thing that will go into my case. It'll go in there with Evoke. It'll go in there with uh, the Infinity deck. It'll go in there with, uh, with, with Cube 52. And this is the sort of thing that I will definitely, definitely, definitely perform. Uh, around Christmas, I get a lot of, uh, like, I, I do a lot of military bases. And they'll hire me and they'll normally have, like, a Vegas theme or they'll have a Hollywood theme. Oh, you better believe that this is coming out and then some. Um, I, I, I would stop doing any of my own material at that sort of gig to do this instead because this would fit so much better. Um, I love this. I'm giving it 100%. Uh, it's great. It's awesome. You can do it immediately. Straight out the box, you'll be able to do this. Uh, pack small, plays big. Uh, looks awesome. Looks like it's what it's meant to be. Fits in your pocket and you're good to go. You throw a couple of blank cards in there as well and you've got like a 10 minute act right there in a card box. Simon Lipkin, you are a genius. This gets 100%. You can get it from Penguin Magic. Okay, so the second routine I'm going to be talking about today is called Airport by Seth Race. Now, Airport is, in effect, um, what it is, is it's an old style AirPod case. So not the, the kind of the... Uh, elongated landscape version of the airpod case but the kind of the more of the uh the long style and what it allows you to do what you basically get is you get this airpod case you get a a, a couple of airpods uh, that are obviously dummy airpods and you get a shell for a, for an airpod and and then you get a bunch of routines that you can do with this shell and you get taught a bunch of different handlings and you get taught a bunch of different ways of doing it and uh, it's 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 very very good it's very very good um the the shell itself when i heard that seth i mean i i love seth to bits i love seth race to bits and uh, i think he's an absolute genius i've been lucky enough to work on a couple of seth race projects over the years and um when i was told that he was developing a shell for an airpod i was like really really how would that work and then when i've seen it it does work it works really well you can have two airpods uh you can you can go into an airpod case and take out one airpod uh, uh and 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 show it and you can squeeze it and make it disappear then you can make it reappear then you can take a second one um and and the shell really does help you with a lot of this stuff what uh uh, Garrett Thomas teaches, by the way, Garrett Thomas is the person that's fronting the project. He's teaching you the routines. He's teaching you what to do with this. I mean, that's like pretty impressive, really, isn't it? That's like, um, I don't know, Sir Ian McKellen giving you acting lessons. You know, this is this is this is a heavy hitter. You know, you've got Garrett Thomas on here teaching you how to do sleight of hand with an AirPod. So he uh, his main routine is to take the AirPod out the case um, and vanish it, and then he comes back, and then you get another one, and that one vanishes, and then the other one vanishes. It's almost like a flurry. It's like a two AirPod flurry, but at the end everything goes back inside the case. Um, you're going to be uh, learning two or three techniques. Um, with the AirPod and the shell. And when you learn those techniques, you're going to be able to do all of the stuff and create your own routines. A couple of things that you need to be aware of. So first of all, it is the old style AirPods, not the new style. Uh, they're still obviously in circulation. People still use those old, old style AirPods, but they're not as common as the new styles. So that's something to bear in mind. Um, although, you know, you just bring them out and you say, I've got my AirPod. No one's going to question that you use older AirPods instead of newer AirPods, but that's something to bear in mind. Uh, also, when you're actually using the shell, uh, the angles are kind of around about 180. Uh, Garrett is going to tell you how to actually maximize those angles a little bit more. But generally, as a rule, if people are looking from the back, you're, they're going to see what's happening, kind of. So you want to make sure that the... Uh, you want to make sure that the AirPods are kind of front and center, right? You want to make sure that people are in front of you. Now, I said at the beginning of this whole video, I was going to give you a tip um, that will make you uh, the trick if you've bought it so much better. And I am. I was going to do a live performance of these, but instead, I'm going to use a live performance from Ian Bailey. Now, I have spoken about Ian Bailey many, many times. He has his own magic shop. He's released stuff through Penguin in the past, Wonderblocks, amazing. He's released stuff through Alakazam. He's released uh, independently his own material. Uh, Ian Bailey is one of my favorite magic creators at the moment. I think that his stuff is super commercial, super fun, and he's a really nice guy. And he shared on his social media an idea 
here using airport with um, uh, kind of, a, he calls it Invisibuds. And I've watched this short, he put this short up and I thought, this is one of the best things that I've ever seen. And he's actually, since this video has gone up, he's actually got a coming soon um, Invisibuds. He's actually going to be selling the thing that you're gonna see here that he's combined with Airport. Uh, it's kind of like a modern day version of the purse frame. Um, you'll understand when you see it. So if you don't follow Ian Bailey on social media, you really should. And this is exceptional. Let's have a look at this. Hi everyone. This is a new invention from Apple. I'm excited to share it with you. This is what they call the Invisibuds. And all they do is they give you the case as a kind of a reference point, but you can just pull out your earbuds from the case just like so all right now what they can do they kind of give you that as a reference point just so you don't lose them but if you put the first one in your ear you would e not even know it was in there right because they're invisibuds it goes in that had nothing to do with the trick and now they've disappeared they've kind of you know gone invisible because they're in busy buds. Okay, so that is uh, Ian's handling of airport. Uh, you can see how well he does the uh, uh, the vanish using the shell, and you can see how good that is. But you know, my big tip here is if you've bought airport already, go and pick up in busy buds because honestly, I think that's the best thing I've seen in a long time. Uh, second of all, if you haven't got Airport, go pick it up, but then pick up Invisibud as well, because the two of them work together so well. And as soon as he's released it, I'm going to get a copy of it and I will definitely give it a review. I don't want to spend too much time talking about Ian Bailey now because this is a review about Airport, uh, airport not about um, not about Invisibuds. But I will tell you, I, I, that's why I wanted to use that footage instead of me performing it, because I saw him do this and I'm like... Well, that's such a really cool idea, such a really creative idea. But second of all, I love his handling of the uh, the actual vanish of the AirPods. It looks amazing. Look, here's the thing. Um, I, I'm going to give this... I'm going to... Right, okay. Uh, even though I've waxed lyrical on it, I'm going to give it 79%. The reason I'm going to give it 79% is because I'm not going to do it. Um... I'm, I'm, and the reason I'm not going to do it is not because it's not very good. It is. And in some ways, it's worth buying just to hear the tutorial from Garrett Thomas. Um, the reason I'm not going to do it is because I've got my own AirPod stuff that I do. Um, and I wouldn't take that out to do this. Um, so, you know, that's one reason. But the other reason is effectively what the shell is going to allow you to do is help you vanish an airpod i've got no problem vanishing an airpod using sleight of hand i've got a bunch of different routines using airpods where they vanish and they come back uh, that uses sleight of hand and you know I, I i don't need a gimmick it's not that i have a problem with gimmicks i love gimmicks but in this situation i don't need a gimmick because everything i need to do with an airpod i can do without needing this Having said that, it's very good. If you watch the trailer and you want to do what you see Garrett Thomas do on the trailer, if you watch that performance of Ian Bailey and you want to do what you saw Ian do, then absolutely get yourself one of these. 79% is the highest mark I can give something if I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do this, so it gets 79%, but it is recommended. The product is well made. It's going to last a long time. The tutorial is exceptional. You get the case, which I was very surprised at. The price is really good. Everything's great. It's just I'm not going to do it. 79% from me. Let's go on to the final review. Okay, so the final thing that we're going to be looking at today is going to be a new, a new trick by Penguin Magic, and it's a pen. That's right. It's a pen. Penguin Magic have produced a pen. What does this pen do? Well, rather than me spending ages telling you what it does, I think the best thing for you to do is to see a performance of this. So I'm going to do a performance of exactly what the routine is, and then after the performance, we'll talk about what I think. How you doing, Jack? We can do a little bit of mind reading right now. Uh -oh. um, I, I want you to see that I've already made a prediction. I don't want you to see what it is, but you can see that I've written something there, right? Yeah. I'm not going to show you what it is because that's my prediction. And if I show it, it might not come true. But this is what's going to happen in the not too distant future. Okay. Now, uh, this is all about um, thinking about a city. But I want you to do it in a very particular way what I want you to do 
is I want you to imagine that you're in space and you're looking at the entire globe. Or flat surface, depending on how weird you are. Yeah, uh, but yes. you, <laughs> you're looking at the entire globe. I want you to imagine you're looking all over this and you, you start, imagine that like your eyes are like a telescopic and you go vroom and you suddenly just go into one continent and then vroom, now you're suddenly on one country. Now vroom, you're one area of that country and then vroom, you're on one city. And boom, now you're looking at that city from space. Can you see that city? You know which city you're thinking of, yes? Yep. Good. Because I'm going to blow your mind. Um, what I'm going to get you to do is tell me the city. I'll write it down. What's the city? Berlin. Berlin. Interesting. Is there any reason you went... F is there any... No, when I said, can I borrow a pen? Yeah. Well, you didn't borrow a Ideally, pen. it has to be a pen that works, Jack. It's not my pen. Huh? It's not my pen. I got it off your desk. No, you never. I did. It was <laughs> on your desk. Well, I've got a friend's pen. It's definitely not that one. <laughs> you don't have a pen. No, it's working now. Berlin. B E R L I N. Yep. That's what you chose. Yep. That was a completely free choice. Is there a reason you went for Berlin or was it just completely random? One of the places I want to do a marathon in. You want to do a map? You want to do a How many you do you're done? Which surely London was enough. I want, all, I want all six. You want to do all six marathons? All six big ones, yeah. That's one of them. We'll chat about this off camera. Right, okay. <laughs> do you remember how badly fucked up you were at the end of the London one and you couldn't walk straight for a month? Yeah, and it spies me. Do better next time. Perfect. <laughs> Here's the thing, you could have picked anywhere you picked Berlin, right? Yep. And before you picked Berlin, I uh, I made this prediction, and this predi and I showed it to you, the prediction was there the whole time. Yep. Can you open up and show the camera what I predicted? It's not a lie. Show the camera. What did I predict? Berlin. Berlin. What? There you go. Boss, wait, what? Up the very beginning. Right at the very beginning, that's been there. Nah. Isn't that cool? Okay, so that's the routine. In essence, what you're doing here is you have a pen, and I think that most people would know this, um, the pen is gimmicked in uh, a particular way that allows you to do predictions in different colours um, and change those colors in real time now the routine that you just saw is the routine that's taught on the project by eric tate so eric tate actually fronts this project now eric anybody who watches this channel will know that i'm a huge fan of eric tate i think he's an amazing magician and uh this routine is very well done i probably did not do it as well as eric tate does you can tell that eric's done this an awful lot you see a live performance of it to real people he explains how to do everything eric is one of the best teachers of magic in the business and you're going to learn how to do this straight away eric's got a lot of tips on how to use the pen how to ring the pen in how to ring the pen out how to actually use this pen to be able to do that style of routine um and and it's a great trick it's a great tutorial there's live performances the pen is very well made it's going to last a long time um there's a lot to love about this my issue with it is I wish there were more routines. In the tutorial, there's really just this one trick. And uh, Eric says, hey, we're probably going to be adding more routines to do, this, to do uh, with this pen in the coming weeks and months. And I really do believe that they will because that's one thing that they try to do. But having said that, I wish they'd launch the project with more than one killer routine. Um, yeah, there's so many clever minds at penguin magic that they could have put five six seven eight routines together and and really given people a bunch of different stuff now i'm speaking from somebody who does nine hour tutorials so obviously i like projects where there's a little bit more meat to the bone uh i know that there's people that say about my projects i just want one trick just show me one trick so if you if you're that type of person you get one trick it's a good trick that's the trick that you get. But I think there's so much more you could do with this. And I really do hope that you add to this project. Now, in terms of 
you know, carrying this around with you. It's just a pen. You put it in your top pocket and you're ready to go. You just need some billets or a post-it notepad or something. And you'll be able to do that routine that you saw me do straight away. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think this is going to be limited by your imagination. I think that people at home that are going to be watching this, they're going to pick this up and they're going to be able to use it to do a bunch of different stuff if they are creatively inclined. Uh, as it stands, I'm going to review it based on the one trick that you get. And based on that one trick, I'm going to give it 88 percent. I'm going to do it. I'm going to carry it around with me. I think it's really good. I would like to see, I'm going to do a hows and whys of this at some point soon because this is a very different gimmick to anything I've seen before. There have been other pens that have done a similar thing to this, but it doesn't do what this pen does. And without giving too much away, I can't really kind of go any further into it. But this is the most natural looking pen that I've ever seen that does this type of thing. So, yeah, it's great. It's not very expensive. It's a great EDC. You just put the pen in your pocket and you're good to go. And um, you're going to get great reactions with it. I just think that there should have been more routines. But still, it gets 88%. It's very good. So there you go, guys. That's another video in the bag. It's another review show special. All of those tricks are obviously available directly from Penguin Magic. You can get them from Penguin Magic. They're available now, and you can add them into your cart. Do me a favor. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I'm going to be back again very soon with another video. Uh, on Monday, I'm going to be back with a 5x5. Tuesday, I'm going to be back with a mat test. Wednesday, I'm going to be here with Ryland for a review show. There's a ton of stuff coming up, as well as, don't forget, there was a Talk Magic on Saturday. Don't forget, there was uh, a uh, Q&A this uh, Sunday just gone. So go check that out, but I will see you again soon. By the way, if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and join The Netrix. It's www.thenetrix.com. That's www.thenetrix.com. Go and check it out, see what all the fuss is about. Thanks very much for watching. My name's Craig from Magic TV. Mm -hmm.